Picture this. A behemoth shrouded in foliage, a creature so gargantuan that it defies the imagination. Gigantopithecus, a colossal ape that once roamed the prehistoric landscapes, stands as a testament to the wonders and mysteries of our evolutionary tapestry. But what if, just beyond the edge of our understanding, this titanic creature persists in the shadows, evading our grasp and eluding the prying eyes of modernity? Bigfoot, Sasquatch, Yeti, the abominable snowman. Whatever you choose to name it, there is no longer a big mythological ape like that. However, an ape the size of a polar bear formerly roamed South Asia more than a million years ago before falling extinct 300,000 years ago. In 1935, German paleoanthropologist Ralph von Koenigswald discovered an atypically huge monkey molar for sale in a Hong Kong drugstore, which led to the discovery of Gigantopithecus. Since then, scientists have gathered several jaws and hundreds of teeth from Gigantopithecus specimens in China, Vietnam, and India. These fossils suggest that Gigantopithecus and Sivapithecus, an ape that existed in Asia between 12 and 8 million years ago, were closely related to contemporary orangutans. It is difficult to put together the characteristics of this animal based just on its dentition. However, experts believe that Gigantopithecus weighed 1,200 pounds and stood at over 10 feet tall, based on parallels with gorillas and other contemporary apes. Their stature suggests that, like contemporary orangutans, they were probably ground dwellers who walked on their knuckles. Large, flat molars, thick dental enamel, and a deep, enormous jaw are among the dentition's characteristics that suggest Gigantopithecus most likely consumed fibrous, tough vegetation. Further proof was found in 1990 when University of Gaula biological anthropologist Russell Siochan and others used a scanning electron microscope to examine tooth samples from the ape in search of obophytoliths, which are minute silica crystals that grow in plant cells. The researchers determined that Gigantopithecus ate a mixed diet of fruits and seeds from the fig family Morisei and some form of grasses, most likely bamboo, based on the kinds of phytoliths they discovered adhering to the teeth. The reason why so many of the huge ape's teeth had cavities is partially explained by the mix of hard and sweet meals. The bamboo diet is further supported by the many pits on Gigantopithecus's teeth, which are an indication of inadequate dental development brought on by malnourishment or a lack of food. According to Seo Chan's team, major die-offs of bamboo species occur occasionally and have an impact on panda health. Gigantopithecus could have experienced the same fate. In November of last year, further information on the diet and habitat preferences of Gigantopithecus was released. A sample of Gigantopithecus teeth was subjected to carbon isotope analysis by Zhao Lingxia of the Chinese Academy of Sciences and colleagues. Depending on the sort of photosynthesis a plant uses, it may produce various types of carbon. The carbon footprint of an animal that consumes a plant is subsequently recorded in the animal's teeth. The researchers discovered that Gigantopithecus exclusively consumed C3 plants, indicating the ape lived in a forest as did the creatures that coexisted with it, including deer, horses, and bears. As bamboo is a C3 plant, this investigation also supports the suggested bamboo diet. What is the fate of this Pleistocene yeti? Jones Group proposed that the Tibetan Plateau's development between 1.6 million and 800,000 years ago changed South Asia's climate by bringing in a period of decreased forest cover and increased cold and dryness. This situation may have been made worse by other reasons. Homo erectus, Gigantopithecus's neighbor, could have outcompeted or overhunted its bigger ape kin. Furthermore, Gigantopithecus evolved and matured relatively slowly, according to at least one dental research. This suggests they had poor reproduction rates, which may increase a species' chance of becoming extinct. Gigantopithecus is reportedly still alive and well, hiding out in the woods of the Pacific Northwest, according to some big food hunters. However, some Sasquatch aficionados point out that this is implausible since Bigfoot is said to be an upright, fast-moving, agile walker rather than a lumbering 1,200-pound quadruped. Before we part ways, remember to subscribe and hit the notification bell to stay tuned for more explorations into the mysteries that captivate our imagination. Share your thoughts in the comments below. Do you believe that Gigantopithecus still walks among us? Or do you think it's a tale lost to the echoes of time?